many people are now waking up to the news of uh, the sad passing of Dawn Lindbergh, really a titan of South African theatre. Um, I spoke to her. I spoke about her. I obviously don't know her personally beyond uh, the performer that uh, she was with her husband Des, but I do know their son, uh, and uh, he and I are both parents uh, of daughters in the same school in the same class. Um, she was a playwright, a theatre director, and actor, and just really, really amazing. And we're joined now by uh, Humuzo Christopher, a star in her own right, also the chairperson of the Naledi Theatre Awards, uh, which uh, Dawn Lindbergh founded. Uh, Humuzo, a very good morning to you. Thank you for talking to us uh, so quickly about really what is going to be an enormous, enormous loss for South African performing arts. Indeed, Bongani, it's very sad news we woke up to. We're still trying to process it. I mean, it's not only a loss for the Naledi Awards, but um, as you say, for the theater fraternity um, wide. Um, as we know, she was a living legend. So we've lost a huge part of a South African South African history, um, especially in the arts. Um, it's a huge, huge loss for her family and for us as the Naledi Awards and the theater fraternity. Just tell me about who uh, 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 Des and Dawn were as a couple, as performers and particularly of course uh, Dawn Lindbergh uh, when we talk about it being a loss for uh, the South African uh, acting fraternity performing arts fraternity what are we talking about well, I think it's incredible because you had so many um, adjectives to describe her, which are so apt, as you say. She was a titan. One of those is, of course, that she was an activist and activism through her theater work. And I would say perhaps that's one aspect of Dawn, of the Dawn and Dez phenomenon that um, some people may not know of. They were very huge in the 60s, anti-apartheid activists fighting for the integration of theater and fighting for the integration of the arts. And... Um, they had a production called Godspell, which, which broke boundaries and had an interracial cast and was integrated and, in fact, had to be banned. And they were able to perform it one last time in front of the court to prove why they couldn't have that kind of production in South Africa in that age. So Dawn and Dave and Dawn in particular were, were groundbreakers. They were pioneers and always at the heart of their work was to to create a multicultural, diverse um, theatre face for this country. And I would say through the Naledi Awards and all the work they've done, they did achieve that dream. Dawn lived to see a South Africa and an art fraternity yeah. that was united. Uh, Dawn Lindbergh wasn't just a performer. She was also, of course, uh, a director in her own right. Uh, and one of the plays perhaps uh, she's most uh, well known for is staging in South Africa the Vagina Monologues uh, for the first First time directed by Dawn Lindbergh and uh, one of the actors uh, in that piece uh, joins us now on the line. Actor, author, activist Rosie Mudeni joins us now. Rosie, always a pleasure to chat to you. Uh, but we are talking under quite unfortunate circumstances this morning, aren't we? Absolutely. And, you know, I was just listening to, to what, what um, Kumutsu was mentioning before. And as much as it is a sad day in the entertainment world because she covered all aspects, you know, we, we, we really should celebrate that we lived during her time, yeah. you know, um, because she was incredibly revolutionary. I mean, we were talking about the vagina monologues and, you know, it was at a time where people, it was an awkward conversation to have. Um, in many countries, Eve Enzela was banned. And what many people don't know is that with the vagina monologues, Dawn actually went and, and bought the rights. To, to have it, um, you know, so we could so we can produce and broadcast it and take it around the country, and to to do that on such a topic that could have bombed because South Africa wasn't ready then. I mean, South Africa's still not ready now to really have the honest yeah. conversations about gender based violence. Um, was was incredibly revolutionary, and I and you know that was also just another part of my activism career as well as my career, my acting career that really catapulted me into what I needed to do and also just to believe in the voice that I have in, in talking about these issues. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.